Hi guys, myself Vijay Tawadhan and in this video lecture I am going to show you a solution for the problem on straight lines and the problem is like this. The top view of a line 75 mm long measures 50 mm and P is 50, P is 30 mm in front of VP and 15 mm above HP. The end Q is 15 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the line and find the find its true inclinations with HP and VP. Now, for the given problem, the data collection will be like this. The true length which is measuring as 75 mm, top view length is 50 mm and the three locuses P, P dash Q is given as 30, 15, 15 respectively. Now, according to this, let us draw the XY line first and then let me draw the XY line. After drawing an XY line, two locuses to be drawn sorry one locus to be drawn above the xy line and the two locuses to be drawn below the xy line let us draw those locuses as per the given conditions that is uh, using a line command once again i'll uh, repeat it and then one more locus is at the bottom so totally two at the bottom two at one at the top then this is going to be the locus of p dash and this is going to be the locus of P and this is going to be the locus of Q. Then make use of uh, distance between command. The distance between the locus of P dash to XY line is measuring as 15 millimeter and the locus of uh, P from the XY line is measuring as uh, 30 millimeter and in the same fashion locus of Q measuring from the XY line is 15 millimeter. So we have given all the required dimensions. Then Make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13. Draw the locus of P dash to P, a projector. Then mark those points. Now this is going to be the P dash and this point is going to be P. Then we know that the top U length is given to us. The top U length is 50 millimeter. That is P to Q is 50 millimeter. Make use of that one using a arc command with a radius of uh, 50 millimeter then we know that the locus of P is, is here and Q is here just draw an arc like this so this point will be the required point Q then we will be getting the Q and this is going to be the Q1 then after getting the Q1 one can draw a thick line uh, with respect to line PQ uh, to show that this is the real the top U and then after that use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 the q1 will be projected towards the vertical plane to get the true length in the front view to do that one go to an arc command select p dash as the reference and the radius must be equal to 75 because p1 dash q1 dash is equal to 75 then when we are going to get the q dash q1 dash position once the q1 dash is finished with the 0.13 as a thickness and let us draw one more locus at the given height now this is going to be the exact locus for the q dash and then i make use of a text command this is going to be the q1 dash once we have located the q1 dash one can easily project this uh, q to the locus of q dash so that we will get the exact position of Q over there. Now uh, one can see there is a small extension which went there. So make use of uh, the zoom command. If you want to trim, we can uh, trim that uh, extension portion. So we have a trim command here. So trim this portion and then using a line command with a thickness of 0.5, one can straight away and easily join this as a dark line that is P dash Q dash. So using the text command, let me mark that point as q dash and then from q dash using the arc by center point command get the q2 dash position by making it by removing the parallelism so this will be the q2 dash from the q2 dash one can easily draw the projection to get the q2 position and once we get the q2 position mark the point as q2 and q2 dash so this is going to be q2 dash and this is going to be q2 now next 
using a line command with the thickness of 0.35 mm join p dash to q1 dash as a true length and p q2 as a true length now this completes the given solution and after drawing these things we need to mark what are the given values the given value is 50 mm that is the top u length is given as 50 mm so hence we must show that this is a given length top u length as 50 millimeter and after drawing this 50 millimeter uh, then 75 millimeter that at all that is q2 distance this is also given in the question so whatever the given data are there available in the question it has to be shown and then we have to measure the dimensions which were as good to measure uh, draw the projections and find the inclinations with hpvp next what are the inclination to be measured now true inclination should be measured so go to the angle between command that is angle between line p dash q1 dash to the locus of p dash which is measuring as 48 degree in the same fashion from uh, line pq2 to the locus of t we are going to measure it as 12 degree so these are the answers which are supposed to be measured now go to a text command create a text box now the angle theta is represented by q is equal to 48 and then angle phi is given by f is equal to 12 degree next we have marked the different things then this as supposed to be marked as a, a symbol by which alpha uh, sorry theta and phi we are going to get it properly to get the degree symbol so to get the degree symbol go to text command character map select the symbol select copy and then after this uh, lo locate the cursor where the degree symbol has to be located and after which whatever the unnecessary things are there that has to be removed then copy this once again and paste it at the one more location by thus we can state that the given solution is completed in all aspects if anybody is having any doubts in pertaining to this problem you can call me at any point of time please make sure that no late light calls are allowed and also please share these videos to all the first year engineering students so that everyone can make use of this problems and they can understand the things and also please do subscribe my channel so that it will give an encouragement to create more and more videos thank you guys